He had a lot of GI issues, abdominal pain, allergies, headaches, a lot of health issues that weren't getting treated because I didn't know what was going on. He had no way of telling me. My name is Austin. How old are you? Austin is 11 years old. He has autism. He is in a special program for children with autism at Marshall Elementary in fifth grade. And to your numbers. I want I links. I know you want links. Go to your numbers. I had a friend who had gotten an iPad for her son with the app on it. She let me borrow an iPod with it on there, and he just immediately just took to it, like no problem. Blue. Yep, you're putting them back together. Can we count them? Green. Yep, there's green. Yellow. Yep. Purple. We started talking to his teachers about it, they found a um, grant for him to get an iPad. And one of the th first things that he told us on um, the iPad is that he had a headache. So we were able to treat his allergies and help his headaches. I want rice snacks, please. Okay. I think him knowing that he has a way to communicate, communicate takes a lot of anxiety away that he used to have. He just feels secure with it. Dylan's autistic. He has sensory processing disorder and cerebral palsy. It was like he was going through the motions of everyday life. There was a whole lot of screeching, screaming, crying, and we were trying to use pecs, which are pictures of objects like um, food items, favorite toys, and he would bring us the photo of what he wanted. But with the iPad, it's really helped him realize that he has a voice in the world and tell us what he wants without a whole lot of frustration. I was able to write a grant to get $25,000 to get iPads for all of the kids that are in a program like ours, kindergarten through age 21. They're so engaged with the iPads, they want to use them, they are always motivated to have them at their hands and they're always scanning for new vocabulary, looking for new words, and we never have to worry about them losing a word or not being able to print it and put it in their book fast enough. Out of all the things we've tried, you know, the frustration level is so much lower with the iPad. In our day-to-day -day routine, I think it's most helpful for when he gets home. That's what you want? Come on. Here you go. Toy train. Toy train. Do you want something to eat first, Dylan? Uh, Here, show us what you want. Uh, what you instead want. of having to do that mm -hmm. guesswork of which one are we going to go with, he's able to tell us what he needs and what he wants. As a parent, you kind of get an idea of what your child likes to eat, you know, before they start talking and really um, being able to express an opinion on what they eat. And we'd ordered him a hamburger and he said, chicken, chicken, chicken. He wanted chicken. So that was like, okay, yeah, we, we can do this. Just being able to say, do you like this? Do you not like this? And I think a lot of parents don't realize what a huge change it is just to be able to have your kid tell you yes or no. You want me to rub your feet? You want me to tickle your feet? Huh? Let me tickle your feet? You have to tell me. My name is Austin. Oh, I know. I'm your mom. You silly. I live with my mom. 